Now let's have a look how we can create these buttons that you see here at the top. And let me switch between auto axis, where Power BI automatically chooses the scale for the Y axis on the basis of the minimum and the maximum, and where I can switch to manual, where I have full control and can decide myself where the Y axis start and where they end. And this also makes sure that the Y axis of the different visualizations are in sync. And what is also important is that when I switch the axis control here to automatic, that the range slider gets disabled. First of all, we're going to create that slider that lets us choose the minimum and maximum. Now, we're going to do this with a parameter. Now, let's call this parameter axis, and this one is going to end at, let's say, 20 million. Now, the increment is going to be, let's say, half a million. So make sure that one is checked and click on create. We can change the slicer to a between instead of a single value. All right, now the maximum, let's put this to 12 and a half million and the starting point I leave at zero for now. Then the next thing that we need are the measures that return the chosen maximum and minimum value. Okay, now we need two, one for the maximum and one for the minimum. We can select all four visuals and then we can go here to formatting options and then we go to Y axis and here we can click on the FX button and the measure that we're gonna use for this is First of all, the axis min measure, and then for the maximum, we're gonna set that to the axis max value. All right, so now the axes are synchronized. So if I want to zoom in on this one, I can, for example, put the starting point around 7 million. You see more of the fluctuation. However, the other ones, well, they are outside of this range and disappear. So now how can we take this a step up and let the user choose between manual axes, like we have over here, to maybe an automatic scale where the scale is determined on the basis of the minimum and maximums of that chart. First, we need, again, a disconnected table. So I'm going to create a new slicer. Then we go to the axis control table, take the option column and put it on fields. Just make sure that here in the formatting slicer settings that we go over here and turn single select on. And maybe you also want to have a horizontal one instead of a vertical. The next thing that we need to do is update the axis max and min measures over there and see what is selected in the axis control. If it's manual, then I want to pick up the maximum and the minimum here on the basis of the selected range. However, if auto is selected, then I want Power BI to automatically choose the max and min on the basis of the values that are visible in the series. As a finishing touch, I would like that slider to get disabled when I switch to auto. Now, how can we do that? With a filter.